सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ब्रेमा टेक दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ माय टेक सीरीज बिफोर यू रियली स्टार्ट विद आवर कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय चैनल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो एज आई मेंशन अर्लियर आई विल बी डूइंग टेक रिव्यूज and uh, i will be sharing tips and tricks of different uh, video editors and uh, what is uh, the current status or the actual um, advancement in, uh, in technology so i would request you guys uh, to support my channel and subscribe if you see this video and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon and uh, uh, share my channel among your uh, friends and family so now let's start uh, with today's video so today's uh, topic is about uh, smartphone trends in 2022 taking into account uh, the latest advancements uh, in 2021 or also in 2020 there has been a, a rapid change in technology and rapid change of uh, really uh, very very powerful features um offered by flagships but also these features have been taken over by the mid range smartphones so uh, they are coming now more and more um uh into the market and uh, people are shifting towards this mid range smartphones because they are uh, they are uh, somehow offering those features which are uh, normally they used to be only available in flagship uh, proper flagship smartphones uh, with price range of about 1000 euros or 1000 more than 1000 euros nowadays it is affordable you can get um, all these features within um, 300 or 400 euros or 300 400 dollars uh, mid range smart smartphones so uh, you can also see on the screen um, i have mentioned so uh, the trends which will follow in 2022 taken over from 2021 will be uh, the display uh, screen refresh rate and the 5g and it's really been a hype about uh, the slim phones foldable phones uh, flip phones um, so you know that uh, samsung has introduced in uh, lately uh these foldable and uh, flip phones and then um, it's uh, really been a hype going on for the camera lenses uh, different uh, manufacturers smartphone manufacturers um, are trying to produce uh, uh, lenses uh, and also um, trying to having a merger with the famous um, uh let's say photographic uh, companies who are really popular for their lenses and uh, last but not the least uh, the processing power so let's move on to the real contact now um if we really see on just have a glimpse uh, from uh, 2000 and quarter 1 of 2018 to quarter 1 of 2021 which is which is this year so this graph will tell you about uh, the total worldwide so global sales smartphone uh, shipments so on the left side we are seeing the number of total units sold out and on the right side we are seeing the total growth uh, which has taken place over the years uh, within the last 3 years 4 years so uh, we can see that uh, this this is really a special year if you take into account 2021 uh, we can even see from the from the bars so these um, bar diagrams are showing you the the, the shipments of your smartphone and the line uh, which is a kind of a trend every year how the growth actually developed within the course of these um, years and we can see there is approximately 27% growth in uh, first quarter 2021 yeah to reach about uh, 347 million units so the next one is um, it's really worth mentioning uh, everyone knows uh, that uh, this uh, this chinese company xiaomi uh, is really coming by leaps and bounds i mean they have progressed really a lot in um, in each price uh, price uh, price range or price class so uh, this is the xiaomi's um, smartphone growth 
and uh, their shipments really grew about 62% to reach a sing- within a single quarter with record uh, i would say shipment of about 49 million units you know, you can see this uh, this wheel or uh, a pie graph so um, if we see uh, only uh, 14% of the global worldwide market uh, is is covered by uh, Xiaomi uh, in uh, 2021 and they are really becoming one of the uh, top uh, smartphone uh, smartphone competitors in the market uh, just uh, before next to um, Samsung and Apple so and also we can uh, worth mentioning is like Oppo and Vivo which are also coming slowly up into the market and um, i think uh, this trend will be uh, going to be much more stronger in 2022 so these uh, chinese markets and other other uh, mobile phone manufacturers uh, will try to uh, capture these markets with their mid range phones and uh, the strategy will be like they are offering uh, state of the art features which are available in flagship uh, smartphones and if we once again have a look on the worldwide smartphone sales so this is now a direct comparison from uh, the sale worldwide worldwide smartphone sales from third quarter of 2020 and the recent survey of third quarter 2021 so the credit goes to 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 gartner so this is the source uh, of this chart and it's from uh, november 2021 So, if we really see direct comparison uh, on the on the left side, um, this vertical figures are telling you the worldwide smartphone sales in terms of percentage. Yeah, and uh, on the x-axis we can see horizontally uh, the manufacturers. So, uh, Samsung. Uh, if we see a direct comparison um, in in two thousand and twenty. Uh, they were a little bit higher compared to 2021 so their shipment sales drops a little bit but on the other side um, Xiaomi has uh, really increased we can see by seeing from this bar diagram about 2 to 3% similarly Apple has really further improved uh, in their sales so in uh, the last quarter they have really gone up similarly to Vivo and Oppo but uh, other manufacturers um, which will include uh, different companies like Asus or Lenovo or there are lots of companies like you can also include Nokia for example uh, this really uh, decreases so the sale actually decreases the reason is because Oppo Vivo and Xiaomi uh, uh, these uh, manufacturers are now trying to uh, capture uh, their mid-range smartphone market so because of this um, there is a decrease in uh, other manufacturer sales too so the display trends if we can uh, see somehow that um, now um, the trend is uh, 90 hertz or 120 hertz uh, screen refresh rate or even more there are uh, there are uh, um, there are few uh, smartphones which are even offering now 140 hertz or more than 140 hertz and uh, uh, dynamic adaptation which is another cool feature for example iPhone 13 has uh, recently they have launched their mobile smartphone and they are offering that so based on your application which you are using the refresh rate will adopt according to the uh, according to the nature of that application so for example if you really doing some gaming or other stuff which really requires um, uh, very fast screen uh, refresh rate so the smartphone will adopt to that and it will increase the refresh rate to about 90 or 20, 120 hertz depending upon the capability of your smartphone and if you are doing really some static stuff or you are reading something so the refresh rate will decrease this in turn will improve the battery life too and um, also uh, another important trend which will be about the oled display so the the screen resolution and the number of nits uh, so um, this will be uh, uh, a remaining trend in 2022 also and uh, it will be quite a hot feature <coughs> so uh, another important trend that will be about uh, the multiple camera lenses trends so um, like uh, we have seen the samsung uh, or s22 ultra they they come up with their ideas and introduce um, uh, 
kind of uh, very uh, state of the art uh, lenses and technology which they are have been using now similarly with the, the latest um, um, smartphone uh, from from apple which they bought into the market uh, iphone 13 pro or 13 pro, pro max they uh, the improved camera improved um, complete i would say uh, the graphics engine and also uh, their um, the new software and uh, the camera lenses which are now they are using and uh, the use of this cinematic uh, features uh, has really um, uh, lightened up the market further and um, also Xiaomi uh, Mi L uh, 11 Ultra is also worth mentioning uh, another contender is like Huawei Mate 40 Pro Vivo X 70 Pro Plus we have already seen in the uh, in the worldwide market survey that uh, Vivo and Oppo are really coming up. So, but the highlight of this year, if you, from my personal point of view, is Sony Xperia Pro One. This is really, uh, I would say, uh, you are trying to simply uh, close in um, a complete uh, cinema in your device or one phone which is this Sony Xperia Pro 1. They are even offering you uh, really state-of-the-art technology, camera technology from Sony. And uh, they are providing you with the latest software, video editing. And uh, this is um, worth mentioning that this uh, smartphone um, is uh, really even uh, even for the, for, the, for the video industry, it could really be... Uh, um, I would say a great usage even in 2022. Another important uh, feature or trend is the CPU chipsets or you can say the processing power. This is going to be a very very hot topic even in 2022. So we have already seen in 2021 lately that uh, 888 plus so from Snapdragon is uh, really becoming very hot in Android devices and uh, Google has introduced um, this very uh, very nice uh, tensor chipset for the new Google Pixel uh, uh, phones and um, Apple has introduced uh, the M1 chip so it is a series of this this ARM processors uh, very very powerful and um, similarly uh, the Kirin processors from Huawei also lies within these uh, categories and Exynos uh, it is also uh, in the top 10 uh, first rankings of these uh, processor processors you could say so um, the chipset uh, will will play uh, not only the CPU but you can also include even uh, the GPUs will play a really really important role um, in the in 2022 so fast charging so people nowadays, uh, even if it's wireless charging or it's a cable charging, uh, people are really looking nowadays for fast charging. Uh, so in this regard, it is it will be uh, a very, very, um, I would say an important feature. It is a required feature. It is the demand of uh, the users. So uh, Xiaomi, Xiaomi comes up with 120 watt chargers. Vivo has introduced 120 watt chargers. So you can get 200% within 30 minutes, uh, which is a really cool feature. So OnePlus 9 Pro, another excellent smartphone, they have given you 65 watts. Similarly, Asus um, Rock phone, which is a gaming phone, very powerful device. They have also introduced 65 watts. So it's, uh, but they are not coming still now to this end because um, I'm really pretty sure that in 2022, this fast charging race will um, will be will be coming very very hot even in um, first or second quarter of 2022 and we'll be saving seeing devices uh, with uh, fast charging trends so this this year was really um, a year of unique designs and this will be uh, this will really uh, take on even further i would say even in 2022 we can see uh, a very beautiful design from for example from google pixel 6 iphone 13 um, uh, setting really up uh, an improved design uh, based on their new design from iphone 12 so they improved uh, the design also in terms of iphone 13 and uh, if we talk about ones from xiaomi uh, 11 ultra samsung galaxy fold 3 and flip 3 uh, this is really the highlight of this year in terms of 
design if we are really talking about so from my personal experience i would say uh, google pixel and samsung galaxy fold and flips they were really uh, one of the one of the emerging designs which uh, we have seen in this year and uh, if you would like to also include in this category you can also uh, it's worth mentioning vivo x70 pro plus and there are gaming phones especially you can see on the right side um, asus uh, uh, rock phone so these are kind of really the highlight of unique designs and this trend will be uh, will be uh, i would say um, will take further um, race in the uh, year 2022 and um, if you do not mention any mid-range smartphone trends uh, it's not even uh, then uh, really uh, justice uh, to the smartphone industry i would say and uh, to the smartphone users because uh, the the trend and the usage of these um, one of the best smartphones of mid-range uh, prices has really changed uh, revolutionized the smartphone uh, i would say the complete manufacture of the smartphone industry uh, and uh, the highlights uh, for example one of the highlights of these mid-range smartphones are like poco x3 pro uh, poco f3 an excellent phone a realme 8 pro one plus nord 2 another excellent phone and then you have no like nokia g50 samsung galaxy a52 it also falls in the same category and the, the beauty of these uh, all these smartphone ranges i mean they are not really high end devices but they are offering you with features which normally you will get in in, in smartphones flagship smartphones which uh, um, live is in a price category of about 1000 uh, dollars or 1000 euros but uh, if you are talking about 300 to 500 euros or 300 or uh, 400 dollars you can get these phones and with uh, very very powerful features like the 90 hertz for example refresh rate fast charging uh, a nice camera so um, i think uh, i hope you like uh, this video about the trends of smartphones uh, that will be followed in 2022 uh, carrying on from uh, the actual uh, status of 2021 and I hope uh, you like the uh, first, first video of this um, and um, I would conclude my video session. So thanks a lot for, for watching guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my channel and don't forget, forget to press the bell icon please. So otherwise you, uh, you, you will miss uh, uh, the new video. So I would um, encourage you guys and request you guys to press the bell icon so that you will get all um, the notifications regarding uh, my channel so if there is any update or any new video or anything uh, new tech news is available so that you will get the reminder uh, uh, quickly and uh, with this i would uh, uh, conclude my session today on on an ending note that i need uh, you guys support and uh, subscribe my channel take care bye bye